Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today we're playing Minecraft. I left off uh, gazing longingly at this little cave here. Turns out it's not as... or this, like, little opening. It's not as big as it looked. It looked like it was gonna be some kind of epic... like, epic cavern, and it wasn't. It was just a room. Just a room with some lava, which is fine. If there were diamonds around the lava, which there don't appear to be. But, uh, that's okay. We got more to explore. There's a lot more to explore. There's a lot, lot, lot more to explore. So let's do that. Let's do that. Up here, there was some stuff. There's a creeper. Wait. I want to, before I do that, I just want to make sure. I didn't miss anything. Yeah, okay. This is where I want to go. Up here. This way. There's a creeper. Oh, he ducked. He ducked! Probably shouldn't be wasting my arrows on creepers, but... Oh, wait. We've already been here, actually. We've already been here. We've already been here. We've already been there. I'm sort of confused again. There was too many, there's too much branching. I know I went this way. Because it's lit up. What's this again? What's this? This is where I just was, right? This is, let me just finish off this lava. Just to make it clear, okay. This is where I was already, and I already went there, and I was already, okay, so I think we're done. I think we're done with this branch. I think we're done with this branch of the cave. That's exciting, right? I did that, this lit up, yes it is, okay. There have been zombies coming from up here so I should probably something isn't well lit here whatever it is something up here is not well lit and I gotta find it because I'm sick of getting ah oh my god well that couldn't have been more perfectly timed I am sick of getting surprised by mobs right on cue mr. creeper oh my god where did you come from I guess this whole area is sort of this dark I hear a skelly somewhere the real question is how do I get back up because up there were more places to go down think maybe this way let's not let that happen again oh that sizzle oh my god just gets your spine just tingling with fear pretty much the same as the enderman you know what this game has scary noises between the Enderman and the and the Creeper. Cause you know when you hear the sizzle, you know you're about to have a bad time. Where did I miss this? I don't remember I really don't remember very far back in this trip. I've sort of been really hectic. Willy nilly, nilly willy, all over the place. Oh, don't hit me into the creepers. Don't hit me into the creepers. Creepers, creepers, go away. Come kill me another day. All right. Well, actually, that was kind of nice. It cleared the path. I want to get back. This iron is irresistible. It's irresistible. I got to go get this iron, too. There's iron everywhere. There's iron in the ceiling. There's iron in the walls.
Okay. Okay, okay. I missed this gold? My inventory is full. Well, I don't need this crappy bow. And this gunpowder, I don't know. This iron ingot could be... I mean, I have so much iron. I don't need one ingot that's not going to stack with anything. Okay, that'll help. That'll help for now. You just... Did he just spawn down there? Or did he follow me and fall? Oh, this is going to suck. Okay, there we go. The arrows... I'm glad I'm accumulating arrows from fighting all these skeletons, because I still can't make them on my own. Okay, dead end. Spider somewhere. I know I keep saying this, but I don't want to get I don't want to get hung up in the twenties. I really want to get down to the to the twelve level again, because I'm I my I, my goal my goal is to find another diamond for the end of this episode. As of now, I just made that my goal just now. Just became my goal. So hopefully, one of these paths is going to lead me down again because I'm up too high. This is this is just a straight up hallway. It's kind of weird, actually. This is like a perfect diagonal hallway. It leads to something that I already made. What is this? Where am I? How bizarre. What? So much iron. Oh my god, there's so much iron. Where the heck am I right now? Why is this lit up? Where does this go? Wait, I gotta find out where this goes. Okay, well, it goes somewhere that it looks worth following. At least that's good. Don't be at that end. Come on. Damn it. Alright. So much iron. I feel like cursed to mine iron for the rest of time. But I can't just leave it. I, I, I can't leave it. I have so much and yet I can't leave it. Well, I'll be good with iron for a long time, at least. That's that's the upside. Okay, okay, okay. More iron. Alright, that looks like a sissy bar that I made like a long time ago. Does this go out to like the the uh the spawn area? Where like where are we? Oh my god. I think I know where we are. This was the big pit. Wow, I don't remember where this ties into the rest of the cave, but I remember I came up here and I said, wow, look at this huge pit. Doesn't this look cool? And my video was too dark for you to see it. But I made a bar across it. Yeah, this is awesome. This is like a really cool cave feature. Uh, we don't want it anymore. We're not looking for that now. We're looking for deep, deep down. But um, that's really neat. Okay, okay. Let's stop getting distracted. Let's go back down. I know this is where I came from already, but... There's gotta be... I know there's another... There's more to explore down here. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there was. I feel like this was up to the zombie spawner air quotes. 
there has there was definitely more stuff down here that I abandoned to go look for this look at the zombie spawner. Is this it? This has got torches. This is lit up. I am lost in my own cave. That's explored already. This is explored. Okay. Okay, well, we'll go back then. Because I guess we'll go back because there was more on the way in that I could have looked through. So let's do that now, I guess. Oh, is this the confusing place that I got lost like a hundred times? Okay, well, we're going to get out of here so that doesn't happen again. All right, yeah, okay. And we're going to backtrack a little bit. Back through the entrance. Because... Is this way? Yeah. Because there was stuff that was unexplored. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we want. I hear a slime. I see a huge lake. I see more on the other side. We're at level 12. That's perfect. This is perfect. Now, I'm really surprised, genuinely surprised, to see a lava lake this big with no diamonds around it. I, I guess... Well, we've, we've gotten a lot of them, so I guess it's a common thing. I just feel like there should be more diamonds. I guess I got spoiled from my last caving trip from that other server that I was playing on. I had, I just like, I was, I was like, I had a disgusting amount of diamonds from like one caving trip. Oh, let's use this as a garbage disposal for a minute. Like, shitty bow. Spider eye. Um. One ingot. Okay, that's good. I got that redstone? No. Come on, redstone. Come to me. This iron's gonna burn. Yeah, all right. It's not even worth bothering with. No diamonds in the ceiling? Okay. And what's over here? Is this not a pathway? What? 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 But I thought there was... Oh, man. I heard a slime, too. Where's the slime? Oh, that's disappointing. I was all excited to have a new thing to explore. Okay, we'll keep going back, then. There's the slime. You're just a little baby slime. What are you doing? Got some slime balls, at least. Okay. Okay, now, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go, back on track. Back, I remember now. This was the original direction we were going, and I got distracted by a side path, and that ended up being the pathway. There, okay, this is good. And there's more under here, isn't there? Clean this out. Just in case, just in case. There's some redstone. That's not what we want. There's another... There's a path over there that looks like an open area. Yes, it does. Is it lit up? It's... Yes, it is. Where is that? Well, it's lit up, but obviously it's not lit up enough. Because there's some big bad scary over here. There we go. Okay, well, uh, we'll go back down then, because we don't want to be up here. Go on back down. I guess I'll get this redstone.
Okay, and back to the main road. There's an Enderman. They just terrify me, just like, just by existing. They're terrifying. Oh, you can kill them with water and they don't aggro. I forgot about that. Teleported. Oh man. Okay, well. I forgot about that though. That's useful. Because they're terrifying. You don't want to fight them, but. You, um. You want to get rid of them. Just because. Then you feel like you can't look around ever. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. This is great. This is the direction we should have gone. Although we found diamonds the other way, so no complaining, no complaining. Redstone. So much redstone. I gotta come up with something to make with all this redstone. A game or something, something complicated. I learned, so this is fascinating. That's, that's an awfully awfully uh, conceited way to begin a story. This is fascinating. I was watching a YouTube video the other day of, um, it was an explanation of how computers add numbers. And the first comment, or one of the top rated comments, and I thought this was really interesting, was I've done some of this stuff in Minecraft. It was about um, AND gates, and it was OR gates, and exclusive OR gates, and not gates and all that kind of stuff. All the kind of stuff that people do uh, with redstone because redstone is just circuitry. I mean, it works the same way a computer does. A redstone circuit is no different than a a computer circuit. And I just thought that was really interesting that people are learning. I'm going to find these monsters while I'm talking. People are using Minecraft and Redstone to learn basic, and basic, when I say basic, not basic, I mean this is really complicated stuff, like electrical, I don't know what to call it exactly, circuitry, not engineering, but like the basics of, of not really circuits, they're like logic, like, like computer logic. It's not a simple thing to learn. And I mean, there's kids, like... Oh, jeez. Well, there's the opening. There's kids, like... Young kids who are learning this stuff in Minecraft. Who are gonna have, like, a really... A, a crazily comprehensive understanding of it. At a very young age. That's really cool. I just think that's really cool. That, like, you're learning actual skills from this game. I mean, not normally, but if you're doing redstone, you're learning actual logic. Like, actual computer computer logic. I don't know what to call it exactly. Computer logic seems to be... Seems to make sense. That they... So you're use, learning actual logic that's used to make actual computers in a video game. And I think that's really cool. I'm very, very adamant about the fact that games, when done right, are the best educational tool that there is. That, like, if, that people will do, people will learn things so much better if it's presented in a game context that they want to learn it, it benefits them in some way. Like... I mean, just for example, redstone circuitry, like, if you were to learn, like, uh, AND gates and OR gates and exclusive OR gates and all that kind of stuff in a class, and it were just presented as, like, learn this because you should learn it, it's not... People don't engage with that. I don't think people really engage with it in that, like, if it's presented that way. But if it's... If it's presented in a way, like, 
if you learn how to do this, you can accomplish something really awesome. I think people are much more likely to want to learn it, to, to learn it and to learn it well enough that they can apply it because they want to. It's not because they have to. I'd love to see any examples of that kind of stuff in any other games. Like, if there's any games that teach you real-world sort of app sort of things like that, but don't present them that way. Like, Redstone teaches you circuits, like basic circuitry, you know, in the guise of, I mean, not in the guise, it is a circuit. Like, it's not pretending to be something other than a circuit, but it gives you, like, a fun reason to learn that. And I'd like to see other games do stuff like that. If anyone knows any, has any examples of that kind of stuff, I'd really like to see them. Like, where a game tricks you, you know, trick, trick, like, in the good way tricks you into learning something that's actually pretty hard and complicated to do. Because I really, I really believe in games as an educational tool, and I don't see it enough. It makes me sad. I actually, so while I'm talking about that, I... I really, I don't know if anyone is familiar with the concept of a game jam. It's basically an event where you get together with other people usually, and you have X amount of time, a short amount of time, like 24 or 48 hours, to make a game from scratch, usually with some kind of concept or theme in mind. And I've taken part in a bunch of them now, and they're always really, really awesome and like super fun and the stuff that comes out of them is always really clever and interesting and and like smart and smart in like a I don't know how to I don't know exactly what I mean by that but the stuff that comes out of them is really cool and it's really good to see and I would really like to see a game jam for education so my idea, my thought, was that it would be a game jam where the different teams would tackle a different chapter of a textbook. So, like, you had a history textbook, and each team took a different chapter of the textbook, and their games were... and made a game to teach that chapter of the textbook. So you would... your game would go through the material from that chapter and try to teach it. Basically, I mean, better than the book. I think that would be really interesting. Like, a, a very instructive thing to do to try to see, can we teach this better? I already explored this, right? I hear a slime. I want to find the slime. He's up. Um... Yeah, I'm... end of rant. I mean, not rant, but... I think that'd be really interesting. If anyone wants to set that up, please do. And you don't have to give me credit, just do it. I want to see what comes out of that. Because that sounds like a... would be a really good project. That was a tangent and a half. Oh boy. That was not... not a... I wouldn't say downer, but that wasn't the most fun thing I've ever talked about. Sorry about that, guys. I'm really... That's a subject that I'm really... You could say passionate about. I love games a lot. And I want to see people do stuff with games that's good. I want to see people do good things with games. I'm sick of people saying... You know, talking bad things about games. And games make you kill people. and Which is dumb. But games make you violent and blah blah blah. I want people to say... I want, I want more people to say, games taught me that, rather, did not, not games, you know what I mean? Games taught me how to do a skill, game taught me how to, game taught me something that I couldn't learn any other way. I want to hear that kind of stuff about games. 
and it doesn't happen enough, in my opinion. I am just above diamond level here. It'd be great if this took a little dip. Or just ended. Okay. Well, it seems like we... I think I've exhausted... Not... I've exhausted all the pathways that I can remember of this section of the cave. I think. I don't think there's any more of this part for me to take on. Unfortunately, I didn't get any diamonds this episode. I was really hoping I would. Um, that's okay. That's okay. A lot of iron. Got a lot of iron that I didn't need. <laughs> lots, that's, lots of iron that I didn't need. Not so many diamonds, unfortunately. I, th I really, I do think there are other branches of this cave somewhere that I haven't, that I forgot about, that I blocked off with the bar and said to explore this later and then didn't come back to it. So definitely thinking next episode, I'm gonna grab those. That'll be my plan. I'm gonna go back through this cave. Well, off camera, I'll go back through the cave and try to find some stuff I missed. And, uh, oh, this is gonna take forever. Go back through the cave, try to find the stuff I missed. And see if there's any places that could yield some interesting things. I definitely also want to get... I need to get four... four? Four obsidian? Oh no! Four obsidian for an uh, enchanting table. I have this diamond pick now. I want to make use of it. I'm back up to the surface. Yeah, here we go. I know exactly where we are. I'm gonna, I am, I'm gonna delve back into this cave just for a minute, just to get some obsidian. Uh, but that's all for this episode. Sorry I didn't find any diamonds. That would have been way more exciting. Um, next time maybe. Well, maybe not. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing next episode. Maybe I'll go caving. Maybe something else. We'll see what happens. It's all about the. Uh, the spontaneity here on Swordfish Plays Minecraft. Whatever seems fun on that day, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody checking out my videos, checking out my channel. I know I'm new. I'm still really trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm really glad that, sh that you've been enjoying it so far. Those who have been enjoying it and have told me that they've been enjoying it, I really appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for your support. It's really nice. And, uh... Aww. Oh, that was dumb. I knew that was gonna be there. So I'm gonna get myself some obsidian here. I'm gonna make an enchanting table. I'm gonna enchant my, my pick. And, uh... I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.